Hey guys, welcome back to Gadget Plans. Um, today's video is going to be a monthly plan with me, but like a double dip um, because things are crazy uh, lately, or they will be, or they're about to be. So um, I'm going to be planning two months, September and October 2020, in a very minimalist style. I'm not going to be taking this too seriously. Um, but I'll just kind of show you what I'm up to. Apologize again for the audio quality if there are any issues. Um, Sunday's video is the same way. I had just like fans blowing everywhere and I had to, I think, do noise removal like in Audacity like three times to <laughs> get it to sound like I wasn't in a wind tunnel. So um, here's my plan. Oh, I haven't picked a color yet. I was going to do probably orange for October because, you know, there's no other month where I could probably stomach it. Um, so I can start on that. But I think maybe for... Yeah, I'm not sure. I also have to decide if any of these go with orange. Did blue for August. So maybe purple might be nice. Or I could do, oh, I could do brown also. Sorry, I'm not a fan of neons. Alright, I'll keep these handy. And also the brown one. And then let's go for sort of purple and pink. How's that? For baby girl. I'm gonna keep a couple pens handy. Alright, this will be our color schemes. So I'm just using Peanuts Planner Co. inserts this month because they tend to be a little bit simpler. Um, my Summer Touch has really seen some really awesome stuff lately, but I just need something that's less project focused right now um and so i feel kind of bad that i can't really find too much of a use for all that uh let's see if i have any oh this will work this is a good one for october let's see august ends on a monday so tuesday right here I just date everything. So if you're new here, we are expecting our second daughter mid-September. Um, so that is why I am sort of planning for things. So I'm planning ahead so that I don't have to set aside some time postpartum to decorate. And obviously you don't have to decorate, but I also like didn't want to even have to print anything in advance. So this one isn't like ripping straight. trying to keep things as simple as possible and part of that is um, not even giving myself room for complexity in my spreads. I just started maternity leave this last week and I'll be showing you those weekly spreads in a second that I've been using. They don't give a lot of room to like plan to do a lot of things or any of that so um, I am just like forcing myself to take it as easy as possible though like this morning is I, every so often I'll, I'll hit one of those days where suddenly things get a lot harder all of a sudden um and it feels like my body's falling apart in new and interesting ways just like I wake up one day and it's different um today was one of those days where I'm feeling simultaneously just like sorry I don't know if you can hear my daughter just woke up from her nap and she's not happy. 
That's been new. Mostly she's been really good, actually. Fortunately, I'm filming this on the weekend. My husband is here and I am taking full advantage. Um, he's been amazing. All right, so I think that's probably fine. Like, I just want a little tiny something, a little splash pop of color. I'm gonna pull out my future log over here and put down any dates that I have. Dog food. Is that one word or two? Question mark. Because I think I have it on auto order, but it may have gotten pushed back because I think we had to push it up. So I'm not sure. Anyway, 7th is Labor Day. Which means that if he's not on paternity leave yet, my husband has that day off. Um, I'm going to put as a task, yeah, I'll put fertilizer just sort of as a general. You're supposed to put it, put the fertilizer in the garden, it's a vegetable fertilizer, every two months, so I thought I'd add it. I might find time to do it at some point. Um, and then. This is not a task. It doesn't matter, but it's just sort of a note. Here, I'll put it as a little dash. But apparently we're getting like a quarterly bonus because our company's doing okay, <clears throat> which is good. In October, I found this last year. I'm going to see if I can try to do it, especially since if I start getting a hang of things um, on maternity leave. Chow. Um, the idea of this, it's like a Christmas challenge where you get Christmas prepped before Advent starts so that you can spend Advent focusing on spirituality as opposed to busyness. Um, it's October 6th. I have a dentist appointment. And I also do have some doctor's appointments scheduled. Let's see. The first at 2 p.m. On the 8th at 11.20. So who knows if I'll be at any of these. With any luck, maybe one or two. I really do want to go early because I am not going to put it on my calendar because I'm in denial, but they have me on the surgery schedule um, for a repeat cesarean if I don't go into labor before then. So yeah, prayers for me to go into labor naturally earlier than later. And the last thing to pull up from my future log section is this recurring oh no, this look for birthdays and anniversaries too. Um, oh, yeah, okay, there are some. You see? My brother is here. His birthday is my due date. So that's kind of cute, but also like, I'm not pushing for that. Like I said, I'd rather go early. I'm really feeling ready to be over with this. And this is our godson, his birthday also. And then in October, my parents' anniversary. That's complicated. The S is supposed to be capitalized. All right. Tasks. October, we have two. 
get a car insurance by the 8th. husband's taking care of the mortgage now since we refied, which is nice. The 15th. It's always the same. Change my razor. Do the uh, washing machine cleaner tablet. Change the sheets. I'm just gonna put that here. I have it marked down as like the first of this September. I'm just gonna put it as a task and see if I can remember to mark the date that it got done in my recurring task list. But I'm not gonna stress over that too much as long as it gets done eventually. Um, okay, character. Greens. This also has a date on here, but it always seems to be slightly off, so I'm just going to keep an eye on it. Uh, let's see. Eighth. I resub on Twitch because I only use my Prime. I figure you may as well use it as not, but then I have to set a reminder to do it manually. Uh, yes. Fifteenth is also Queen Clancy, who is our robot vacuum cleaner. And wash filter. Oh, okay. specifically the filter. Okay, then. Ah, pure filter is due. In September and yes, around the first, we'll do our daughter's toothbrush. And then in the end of the month are these, I don't know if they're what they are. They, they're supposed to be like these air purifying charcoal bags and you're supposed to set them out in the sun to like refresh once a month and I don't know if all of that is woo or what but it doesn't hurt anything. So there we go. So that's my set up for September and for October and I'll just keep these in there. They're not very decorated. Maybe I should, I think maybe I'll print a photo like I, I do for my weekly section um, and just from with my HP sprocket and stick that on the front um, as the months come up as something like the sort of cover. But that way I have September and October ready to go so I don't have to set them up again. This is my weekly. Uh, let me show you how it's been working. Uh, so this is what I've got in here. Um, I should probably redo this guy in the monthly colors. Uh, maybe not. It doesn't even matter. But this is a an undated daily, also from Penis Planner Co. This one's a freebie that um, is sort of my outline for my day, what I'd like it to look like. This is actually going to get thrown completely out the window <laughs> once the baby comes. This is just my, like, while I'm still... You know, only taking care of one. This is this list of stuff I'd like to get done every day and roughly when. And then this is actually a cleaning tracker, but um, I am using it to be sort of my week daily, you know, week on one page. Um, and it's got just a little bit of room for a couple of things to mark every day to get done. Um, I'm not holding myself to anything strictly, but it is nice having that as a, a limit. If it doesn't fit on here, you probably shouldn't be doing it. And there's a couple of things that I try to get done during the nap. But then if it doesn't get done during her nap, like it's not a big deal. I am trying to prioritize getting videos out on time. 
Um, but in any case, I, it's been working really well for me. So I have it set up for this next week. I'm filming on Saturday. Um, and then I've got it here as well for the next couple of weeks after that. So let's see. 31st is Monday. So let's just mark it off. And we'll do, we'll do the 31st in purple because that has blue in it. By then I'll be filming my November plan with me and we'll probably have a new weekly setup that I'm ready for. But these are at least ready to go. Um, I haven't put anything obviously that are to-do items. I also haven't put anything that are like events. Um, there's not a lot of events because we're not planning on leaving the house until Thanksgiving. Um, this, yeah, is just basically ready to go. I just wanted to make sure that the dates were on there. Um, and I think I'm probably going to keep maybe like this one in here because for example I'm gonna put a this big I probably wanted it to be bigger honestly have some that are bigger there we go this Saturday is my brother's wedding and so we're going to be watching the live stream of it which is amazing i didn't think that was going to be an option when we had to decline um way back because we're going to be 38 weeks pregnant um, on the 31st but so this is where we are i've got weeks in here um not a lot of room for I think maybe, yeah. I've still got this little daily guy here. So if I'm still using this uh, into September, I will put a photo here at some point. And this will be the front of my weekly section because I do like to have just something at the front of each section. And then um, this here, I'll probably leave that because it doesn't hurt anything. And then stick my September, October in here. And, you know, when I'm done with my August one, I'll pull that out. So that's where we are. Uh, I hope you found some interesting things there. There's not a lot going on in my life. Well, I mean, there's a lot going on in my life. There's not a lot of it is in my planner because I really want to keep things as minimal as possible and focus on just listening to my body. Um, so that is what I am doing today. I'm going to get out of this hot office and leave you guys to the rest of your day as well. I hope it's good. I hope you're staying cool wherever you are. Um, if you're in the Southern Hemisphere, I hate you and hope that you are enjoying your winter um, because it is, it's, I mean, okay, Tuesday was like 103, but today is only in the mid 90s. It's like 10 degrees cooler. I should be grateful. I'll see you guys in the next video on Sunday. I'll be just updating you guys with more bumps stuff and um, check out the video from this last Sunday just about what my plans are uh, channel wise for this period of time that I just planned for. Thanks for everything. I love you guys. Bye.